Okay, if your dryer seems to run fine, but it just is not making any heat, but it's spinning the clothes and every other symptom is seems fine, chances are that this part of your dryer with the heating coils has a break in it. And we're going to take this off and take a look and I'll show you what to do to fix it without buying a new one if that's the case. Okay, before I take this piece out I'm going to vacuum out all the dust and before you even do anything always make sure you unplug your dryer. This is holds a nasty amount of electricity and you will die if you uh, touch those. It's definitely enough to kill you. Okay, looking at it now with the dust off, you see there's a heat sensor here and a heat sensor here and here's the connector for the element. So I'm going to take this off. This will open up and wiggle out. And here you can see that these coils operate just the same as a toaster or an oven or even a light bulb. There's electric current that goes through here. The coil offers resistance. It glows red hot and heats the air. And uh, that's how it works. So if you're getting zero heat at all, it could definitely be that there's a break on this coil somewhere. Now you can test it by hooking up a multimeter to these leads, which is what we're going to do now. Okay, I have my multimeter here and it's set to 200 ohms. That's what that little symbol means there of resistance. Or you could even set it to this. Um, setting or if your multimeter has a little tone setting and that means that when you touch the leads together it makes it a noise. You can see here I touched the leads together and it changed the display. So we're going to hook this up here on these two leads and see yep yeah, it's got a good connection there. So we know that this is good if your display didn't change, then you know that there's a break in here. And uh, you can get a multimeter like this for under $10, uh, shipping included on eBay, just in case you don't have one. So very handy to have. This is the, the bottom of the barrel as far as quality goes, but for tests like this, they're great to have. So assuming there is a break in yours, I'll show you one little trick you can do that might work if if the brake is in the right spot. Hey, this trick I learned when I used to have an electric kiln. If there's a brake in the coils, you can uh, attach them together with a nut and a bolt and a couple washers. And uh, it works great. And especially if you have washers with a bit of grip to them. You know, those ones that are uh, ridged. And uh, they'll hold it and it'll work perfectly. And hopefully that saves you some time and money from buying a new one. One last tip, when you're putting this all back together, don't tighten the screws all the way. Put them all in, and then once they're all in, then fully tighten them. That way it'll save you a big hassle trying to align it all up into each little screw hole as you go.